Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, today we are going to plan for April in my bullet journal. So I hope you guys are ready, but first we are going to flip through March to see uh, what we did there. So this is the spread that I made last time in my March plan with me video. I have been loving these colors this March. Um, you may know that orange is just, I love to use orange and yellow. They are so nice, especially combined with these vintage colors. So pretty. So, as you can see, I didn't really use this. It's not like I didn't do anything these weeks. I just didn't fill it in, to be honest. My finance tracker. And here we go uh, with the first spread. Got a little to-do list here. And I've got some stickers that um, my friend got in a goodie bag from uh, Baninana, Ban Bananina, Bananina, I'm sorry. <laughs> but these are so cute. I will be using them a lot more and I love her card. I wanted to, to co incorporate that as well. So it's a little drawing of Chien, Chien Barton. I did some hand lettering here. I still have to do some journaling down below. Um, might do that, come back later for that. And here I tried some different hand lettering styles that I use a lot in my bullet journal. And I was like, um, if I just put them in here, it's easy to go back and see what I wanted to use. I love to use this one. And uh, you see it a lot in my bullet journal. Um, this one is just something that I just tried out here, so put it in there. And then the bouncy lettering is something that I'm doing a bit more. So, yeah. so here I did some brush lettering, some journaling, little weekly spread. And this spread is something... Um, a video that will go up later this week so if you want to see me make that so um, let's get started with planning for April just go and skip a few pages here and then we can get going so the idea that I had for this month is to use a like black craft paper and write on it with a white uh, pencil because I've been doing this uh, for a while now just to do some hand lettering but I I like it because it gives it a look like it was chalked so I'm just going in first with a normal pencil to um, yeah to write down April I'm using some bouncy letters here then I'm going to slightly erase it and then go over it with my uh, white pencil so the pencil that I'm using for this is the polychromos from Faber Castell but to be honest, like any uh, white pencil that I have, just does great. I'm really surprised with how well um, you can see it on the black paper. So yeah, I wanted to use that for this month and I'm just going to cut that out. So March has been a very busy, crazy month. Um, like just making this video is just um, finding the time somewhere to do all the different parts <laughs> but they are all exciting things that are happening so um, I hope to be able to let you know a little bit about that a bit more there will be uh, hopefully more videos um, I will be posting a weekly plan with me uh, later this week so I hope that you like that um, so yeah, so I cut this out here. I just used uh, the outline of the yeah of the month and just figuring out what paper that I wanted to use for this month. And I just go to my big bins um, filled with all these paper. Yeah, I have a bunch of those, but I have one bin that I I put in the ones that I like most, and then I go through that and just take everything out, <laughs> and it just makes it a little bit easier to find supplies that I want to use. So now I'm just figuring out 
what I want to use. I really like this girl here with the soft pink. Um, but I don't really have that many pink stuff because I don't really use pink. Um, but I wanted to use it here, so I was just trying to figure out how that could work. Yeah. So first I had the idea to write down uh, all the dates of the month on this little paper. But I thought that it didn't match that well uh, with the colors that was happening. Uh, with this girl of course um actually this girl that i use here is from a postcard set from pinterest and i from princess from aliexpress i'm sorry but i will link it down below in the description box for you guys so that you can um buy them yourselves i i always buy from aliexpress most of my washi tape and stickers are from there So what I have planned for April, um, it's going to be another crazy month, <laughs> but it's going to be fun. I got lots of things planned. I'm going camping again with the scouts group and their moms. Um, we're taking the kids and we're taking their moms on camping trips. So that's always fun. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm also going on a little vacation by the end of the, by the, end of the month with um, my boyfriend's little brother and his girlfriend we're just going away to um, we don't actually know where we're going yet because we did like this sort of surprise um, place and but it's somewhere in Holland so it's not going to be anywhere fancy but we're just going to have a great time so excited about that as well and then I got a bunch of dinners planned <laughs> Everybody wants to have like, oh, I've seen we haven't seen each other for so long. Let's go and have dinner. So, yeah, I'm. A, it's going to be a busy one. Seeing lots of friends, but that's nice. And you guys, um, the weather is clearing up. We had some very nice days. Um, like last weekend, um, it was so so sunny out. I I went and uh, skated outside. Which I'm, I'm really not sporty, you guys. Um, but it was so nice that I wanted to go outside. So my boyfriend and I, we went and went skating. And um, I still managed a bit, but uh, I, I can't um, do that for very long because I get so tired so soon. So I need to practice that a bit more. So maybe this summer we'll be able to do that if the, whenever the weather is nice. So for the background, I'm using this... Um, old uh, lined paper i thought that it would it, it has like this little bit of peach undertone to it so it matches with the with the girl again and then here um the blood plants picture of the plants and uh attack so i got the basic layout um i gotta figure out here so now i'm just seeing what i want to do um, all around it so for the past couple of months I have been doing a, a monthly calendar but I, I didn't want to do that this month because I didn't use it last month and I wasn't really feeling like making one anyways because since I'm getting more and more busy it doesn't fit in my uh, in a little calendar so I'm using my phone to uh, plan that out and by week I will maybe make like a little weekly plan just to figure everything out and I actually got a separate planner a weekly planner for all my uh, things that I have planned like content planning for uh, YouTube and Instagram so if you're, you're not following me on Instagram yet be sure to, to follow me on there as well it's just I love uh, when you guys send me messages on Instagram and we just chat for a while. I have been chatting with some of you guys, which is it's just really nice. Um, so if you ever uh, want to have a personal chat, just <laughs> hit me on on there. I love that. So I'm making a little, um, little border here where I can just dot in like the big events because I'm not doing the calendar. Um, so I'm writing those down here. And the rest will just sit in my phone on a digital calendar and on my uh, computer. So
So I noticed that I got like a bunch of pencils, you guys. Um, I posted this on my Instagram that um, Artisa recently sent me some pencils, which I will be trying out. And uh, I had the uh, Polychromos, which I bought myself because they are so nice. And then I also had uh, some tints with pencils from... I'm not, I'm not sure which companies they were again, but... Um, I got two of those, which I found somewhere in an old home from somebody who passed away and um, I could have them. So I had a whole bunch of colored pencils, which are all from quite, uh, quite amazing brands, to be honest. But I wasn't using them because I was only using my uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos. So I basically, basically took all of them out and divided them by color and put them in some bins. So I got the... I, did separate Faber-Castell ones, but the other ones I got them with purple and blue colors together. I got the yellow, the orange and the reds together, and then the greens and the browns and all the earthy colors together. So I'm hoping that I might use them more now and I definitely got more than enough colors to choose from. So yeah, I need to color more. <laughs> but it's just nice to have enough supplies on hand to to, to have them whenever you need. So I'm just using uh, this little girl sticker here um, because the again the peach uh, is coming back. So you have it come back and now I'm just doodling around it. So the girl is also from AliExpress and I got this little washi tape um, that, I, that I always love to use and it's actually an, an Eastern washi tape because Eastern is coming, so I thought that would fit really nice. So, um, this spread a little less colorful than normal. In the beginning, because I was using the black uh, with April, I was scared that it would get this wintry feel and I wanted to keep it a little bit summer. So I hope that I kind of managed to do that still. Not 100% sure about it, but it is very peaceful, this uh, spread. And I also, sometimes that's also really nice, especially since this month is very busy. That, that can always help. So I'm just looking here, um, figuring out what, um, what stickers I want to use. And now I'm just thinking if I still want to do like a calendar on the other side. But then I decided that I didn't want to do that. So this is the finished result for this month. Just one simple spread, but I kind of really like it. So this is the end result. Very simple, just some washi tape and um, some borders, doodles and uh, pictures in it. Yeah. So I hope you like this one. Let me know in a comment uh, what you're doing for April, uh, if you're doing a theme or if you have something amazing planned. And I will see you guys in my uh, next video later this week. So be sure to subscribe so that you get notified to see that one. Thanks so much for watching. So, by the way, um, you saw the pretty pictures in the beginning of the video. This is the end result of the mess I made <laughs> during this video. But now I'm just going to clean this up. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.